What quietly screams, rich, wealthy. I used to know the price of a gallon of milk but now I don't. I am not rich, but I used to be poor. I needed to know that price. Now we are blessed to have enough that if I need it, I just grab it without looking at the price tag I imagine that being rich would be similar but on a grander scale. Edit. I ended up going to the store just now to get something for my husband and I checked. It's $4.51 for the store brand 2% milk. I work in the private jet world. Rich takes tons of photos getting on the plane. Real money just walks straight onto the plane. And hash X200B. I could go on for days about the differences. Alan Clark, a British politician born into a wealthy family, once disparaged someone by describing him as the sort of person who bought all his own furniture. No logos on their clothes, but very well fitted, tailored, and pressed, cleaned. I know it's not a big thing, but people who use really nice plates and silver cutlery very casually. I've seen poor people with mustangs. But I've never seen poor people eating with polished silver. I used to work at a clothing store. This lady comes in, she's well-dressed looks great and is super polite to the people helping her. At checkout she pulls out a black Amex card. She was not my first black Amex card customer but she was above and beyond more of a human than the others. I assume she was rich as fuck. A Steinway concert grand piano in the living room, worth about $195,000, that no one in the household plays. Spontaneity. Just talking about something or some place and doing it or booking it there and then. Owning a second house or a boat and not feeling obligated to use it heavily. Retired with no debt before being in your 50s. Going somewhere pricey and not looking at the total before you pay. Edit. Change tots to total. Though tots is also correctly hilarious. If you use money to get time instead of time to get money. Saw someone say once, everyone enters their house through a garage that's empty except for some bottled water. I don't know why, but this is so true. Casually owning a second house in another state for trips, edit. When I say house I'm not referring to just a small cabin, I was referring to a full-size house for the family. This is what came to mind CUSI know a few people who own an additional home in other states. Their secondary houses range from 350k to 575,000 United States dollars. Friend of mine used to run a ridiculously exclusive cocktail bar. He always said the ones in the fancy clothes who look filthy rich are normally reasonably wealthy. The ones in jeans and t-shirts who look normal are normally filthy rich. Basically the truly rich people didn't see the place as anything out of the ordinary, so saw no reason to dress up. Rocking socks and flops but sporting a 200k watch. Not checking the price tag before buying. Being the guy wearing a suit in a room of guys in t-shirts and sweatpants. O.R. Being the guy wearing a t-shirt and sweatpants in a room of guys wearing suits. I was out with a few of friends of friends last year, and I was talking how I was going to be forced out of the area I live because rent prices have increased by 15-20% in the last 12 months. One of group piped up with the sincere, but dumb as fuck, suggestion, why not just buy your own house? Cheers pal, never thought of that. Spoke to him a while longer and it turns out his family are major landlords in the area and own many of the apartments within the area of the city I live in. One of the deciding reasons I can't buy my own property is, funnily enough, his parents buying it all up and charging so much for rent that being in a position to even save for a mortgage is a pipe dream, let alone actually getting one. Speaking about your plans for your life with full expectations that they will be successful no matter how unrealistic they would be to the rest of us. I plan to become a writer, but in the meantime I'm thinking of opening my own art gallery. I'll totally be successful, all my wealthy friends will buy shit from me, then I'll hire someone to run things while I travel for the experience I'll need to do my writing. Suspicious amounts of free time to pursue their interests, travel, or just be out and about. Sofa in the middle of the living room and not touching the wall is an easy way to tell. Not bothering with refunds because it's not worth the hassle. The ability to purchase lumber. Wealth is quiet. Rich is loud. Poor is flashy. Credit. Tim Denning. Not hesitating to eat in a restaurant with no prices on the menu. Not being concerned with whether other people think you are wealthy or not. Twenty-somethings who crap on the 9-5 all while constantly travel vlogging in order to find themselves, while telling others to do the same thing, but we can't because we don't have the luxury of doing so. A family member owns a lake house but always refers to it as just a little weekend place like it's no big deal and everyone has one. Money. 100% of rich people have money. Paying for everyone's food, picking up the tab, 
when done in a passive and nonchalant way. The thinking of how laws affects them. Had a guy in my class at university, he was pretty cool though, who was filthy rich and one thing always stood out was how he treated laws. Can't park his car here. I can park here it will just cost me X amount in fine. Like brew, edit, and this applied to many things he did. Edit 2. Not US it's Eastern EU. Nantucket. Not knowing the price of everyday stuff, like groceries or electricity. Day trips that are hundreds or thousands of miles from one's home. Have a friend who is moving to the Bay Area. To work for a non-profit. Part-time. She didn't know what her salary would be. Not worrying about losing a job and just taking up a hobby because they have time to kill, instead of looking for a job that helps pays bills. Not wearing designer goods obnoxiously, not wearing obnoxious amounts of jewelry, not posting on social media showing off your cars, house, holidays. Maybe not quietly, but being able to afford college without loans, financial aid, or having a job screams money. Bonus points if the parents are bankrolling the whole experience. Perfect teeth. It's always the perfect teeth. Reading these comments makes me seem like I'm Bill Gates. And believe me when I say, I am not. Designer clothes but not fancy, they are dressed very casual not showing it off as such. Their attitude. Very wealthy people don't rush. They walk slowly and speak precisely. That's what I've noticed anyway. I cleaned huge houses for a living, and to me it was the custom-built Lego rooms with cabinets floor to ceiling full of organized Lego sets. In the UK, using the word holiday as a verb. Having a great grandparent it either means you're rich enough to have really great healthcare and people to look after you, or it means that all the women in the family got pregnant at 15 so it could go either way. Becoming a vigilante. Having a pool house. And letting guests stay there because it's a nice nice pool house. Extensive knowledge of tax loopholes and tricks. Saying, sure, to every suggestion a server makes. Prime rib with orange salmon mushroom glaze. Sure. Pairs well with our 1976 Pineapple Farms Pinot. Sure. And for. Dessert. We do have a purple avocado sorbet. Sounds good. Not knowing to the nearest $1,000 how much money is in your checking account.